video what I'm going to show you is how we can view the database, how we can select a table inside the database and how we can write the SQL query inside the MySQL console that we have because we'll be working with the MySQL console, we're not using a third party software, we are simply going to use the MySQL console that comes along with the VAM server because I've installed VAM server on my machine and I'm going to show you how we can manipulate, how we can view the tables the table structure and the number of databases that are stored in the MySQL server. It's really very handy and it's even though it is not really having a user interface but you can still do a lot with this console. So see you in the video. Now on my local machine I have VAM server running and in my VAM server I'm going to go to the MySQL menu. In MySQL menu I'm going to go to the MySQL console. It will bring the command prompt. And now it's asking me to enter the password. Well, I do not have a password yet. Uh, so what I do is just hit the enter key. That's it. Well, if you do not have a password or if you have a blank password, I don't mean by B L A N K. I just mean by you do not have any password. So you just hit the enter key. Well, it's not really recommended that you do not have a password. I, I suggest, I recommend that you have a password. But for our demonstration, I just did not include a password, you know, just to make things quicker. Now, Let's get to the meat of this video to view all the databases that we have on our MySQL server. What I do is that simply type the command show databases. That's it. Now if I hit enter, it will not display the database. This is still asking me to, it is still expecting some input from me. And that input is the terminator symbol, that is the semicolon. Now which means that my statement has been ended. Now when I hit the enter, I think there is something. Oh, okay, I, I mistyped the database name, that is. Okay, now if you want to go back, you can use the up and down arrow. And instead of typing it all over again, you can just use the up down arrow. And you can correct that. And now we have, okay. Okay, now finally, finally I got the spelling of databases correct. <laughs> okay, now we have all these databases listed here. We have, you know, this name, inventory, MySQL, PHP solutions, and reseller. Now if I wish to view the columns under the reseller database, uh, what I can do is that I'll just say show tables. Now it's giving me a message saying that no database selected. Now the way we select a database is not by typing select database, we use the command as use table name and the data and the table name here is reseller. I I type to use reseller, that is the table name and I use the terminator key or the symbol, that is semicolon symbol and I hit the enter. Now it says database changed, which means now we are in the side or we are or, or the reseller database has been selected. Now I can do whatever I want with it. I if I wish to view the table names, I can just say, instead of typing it again, as I said, I can use the up down arrow and I can use this command which I typed earlier here. I can use it again and I'll hit the enter key. And we get all the table names, all the table names under the reseller database. Now if I wish to view the, if I wish to view the structure of the table, let's say user, what I can do is that uh, just write describe user. That's it. So I get all the information about this user table, the field name, the data type of this field, if it is null or not, well the user ID is not null. Okay, well the, I mean it's not, um, okay anyway, there are more things that need to be done with this. And the primary key, yes, the user ID is set as the primary key and the default is not specified yet. 
and user ID is set as the auto increment. Well, auto increment means as you know, whenever you enter something, it gets incremented automatically. You do not have to explicitly enter the the uh, the ID for that. So now I'll just take you back what we have done. We have said we have written the command for showing all the databases. Then we have written the command for well, first we have to change the database using the use table name, and then the database will be set to whatever database you want to work with, and then. By using the show tables, we view all the tables listed under that particular table. Then in order to view the structure, we just write the scribe user. And again, if you want to do something more with it, let's say if you want to view the user ID inside the users table, we can use a simple SQL command. That's right. We just write a select star from table name. But instead of the select, I'll just write, we don't want to view the whole record, we just want new ID, okay. We just want to view the user ID. I'll hit the semicolon and we get all the uh, user IDs. If we want to have the username, let's do that. Username, let me make sure that I have spelled it correctly. Yes, I have. All right, these are all the names of the user inside the user database. Well, that was it. That was a short and quick video tutorial about how we can view, how we can uh, describe, I mean, how we can show the structure of the database and the table and how many databases are there in the MySQL server. Mind you that we have not used a third-party software or anything of that sort. We are simply using the MySQL console. And this is still, I mean, we have to do, I mean, it's not very, user friendly, I mean, it's not a very graphical interface, you have to type it, you, but before typing it, you have to remember the, the syntax, remember for showing the, for displaying or for viewing the uh, structure of the database, we use the describe keyword and then the table name, okay, so these are the syntax that you need to keep in mind to, to work with your uh, database and uh, it's still very simple but it's yet very powerful. And it is just built in, you know, we did not use, as I said, we did not use any third party software or anything of that sort. So it's really very simple. So thanks for watching this video and keep tuned in and please leave your comments down below. And uh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you.